Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Excel Fort. I have come across this question from many users and the members at the Power BI community forum about setting default date filters. The problem is there is no built-in feature or any easy way to set a default date filter in Power BI. For example, you open a report and if you want it to be filtered dynamically by current month or past 7, 60 or 90 days and at the same time you also want to allow your users to filter to any date range that they want afterwards it's a bit challenging i just opened this report the date slicer here is not filtered but you can see the other visuals below are showing past seven days worth of data from the last date of sales i have data up to 30 june 2021 what makes it more effective is that when new data get added the visuals will get updated and dynamically show the data from the last sales date. If I start applying filter on the date slicer, it completely respects that. I was really inspired by a recent article from sqlbi.com on default values to create this solution. With this, let's go and see how I built the solution using the power of DAX and calculation groups. My data source is an Excel file where I have got the order ID, product category, order date and the sales amount. The order details are from 1st January till 30 June 2021. I have imported the sales data from the Excel file onto Power BI and I have named it sales data. Also I have created a dates table. It's pretty simple. It has got the date, month number, month name and the year. The relationship I have created is from date table to sales data is a one to many relationship. I have created this simple report from the data set but the purpose here is to show the user only the past seven days of sales data and also allow him to make any changes to the date filter. Currently we have data up to 30 June but the report shows all the data from day one. As an approach, you would tend to use the relative date filter, but it wouldn't work in this case. Let me show you. Let's drag and drop the date field onto, let's say, on this page. And click on relative filter. Say this is, yeah, in the last seven days. You don't see any data here that is because by default it is taking past seven days from the current date today's date is 31st of july so it's taking past seven days from 25th of july to 31st of july to solve this problem i'm going to use calculation groups using calculation groups we'll be able to control the calculations of the measures on the report if the user has selected anything on the date filter then we will not modify the calculations otherwise we will always set the date period to be last seven days to create calculation groups you need to get into the tabular editor you can go to the external tools and click on tabular editor i have installed tabular editor 3 in fact uh, you can also download the free version which is tabular editor 2 i have given the link in the description let me bring in the tabular editor screen from the other window let's first look at what measures i have created so far uh, in my model you are able to see the measures by expanding the table i've already created a sales measure basically this sums the sales amount uh, from the sales table and uh, another measure which uh, takes the distinct count of the order ids I can go ahead and create a calculation group right click on the tables create calculation group so let me give it a name uh, let's call it date filters and we can name uh, the column as default dates 
and we need to create a new calculation item and uh, under this calculation group let's name it as pass seven days past seven days fine so now we have created the calculation item and now it's time to include the expression here to test the calculation group that we have created let me just uh, try it we'll use the selected measure just to return whatever measure that is there save let me go back to the file whenever you create for the first time so you need to refresh it manually over here yes uh, you see on the field span the calculation group is created and default dates let me drag and drop it onto the canvas and i'll change the visual type to a slicer so we can see how it works fine so if i click on this i shouldn't see any changes on my report yeah no changes are found yeah that's fine so it's great the moment i turn this on i should be able to see uh, only the last seven days from last date of sales which is 30 june as per my data set now i can go back to the tabular editor and build the calculation let me clear what is already there first i need to check if any filter has been applied on the date slicer is date filters equal calculate is filter dates date all selected this way I am removing any filters within the visual and checking if this day slicer has been filtered this will be a true false value that's assigned to the is date filtered and the second one is another variable where I want to store the last sales date it's a simple calculation calculate max sales order date remove filters this will give me uh, the last date on any filter context third variable will be the number of days I want to store here the number of days I just want to look back uh, in my case it's uh, seven days Seven. with this information I should be able to build the logic and uh, I'll store the results in a variable I'll call it result first I need to check if is filtered let me copy paste I don't get in IntelliSense is filter is true that means user has made some selection in the date slicer I can return the selected measure no changes applied otherwise I'm going to show the past seven days so I can use calculate selected measure to go back seven days and show the period I can use dates in period dates in period it has uh, the first argument the date from the dates table second one is uh, the start date the last date I can take uh, as the start date the number of intervals I need to go back seven days <coughs> can use my variable and the fourth one is the interval which is the day calculate 
if it looks okay let me return the results okay let me do the formatting to make sure there are no errors also it's properly indented now we can go back to the file and check if this works before that I need to go and save it and turn on the calculation group for past seven days I see some numbers I see 55,475 I think yes this is for the past seven days from 24th to 30 of June but I see 55,000 everywhere this is because uh, it's overwriting the filter context on uh, the dates uh, what I need is uh, the intersection between the existing filter context and the newly applied filter from the dates in period to do that we go back and uh, add key filter to dates in period key filters and save it again go back yes now you can see we we are looking at 24th of june to 30 june seven days of sales to validate this number let me go back to my excel file um, verification is important here so last seven days I need June 24 25 6 7 8 29 and 30 so 55 yes that is correct the good thing about this solution is that it's totally flexible when you publish the report the user will always see the last seven days of sales data but he can also change the date filter to whatever range that he wants so let me try that now currently we are seeing seven days but if you want to see let's say from 1st January to uh, 23rd of March right you can change the filter here if you want to go back to the original state just go and clear the filter on the slicer not only that uh, now the other advantage of this method is like whenever new data gets added you see the last seven days from the last available date to try that let me go back to the excel file and add sales for the last date is 30 let me add uh, one more day so this will be July 1st right and save the file currently you are seeing 30 June and 24th of June right 24th of June to 30 June and if I refresh I should see the new date range from 25th to 1st July to give an indication to the user what's the range that has been selected currently so we can create a measure and assign it to this card over here so let me go and create a new measure I can call the new measure as the date range so format min of dates date dates date and the format will be date month and year right so I'm going to copy the same thing and to the max of dates date 
should work I can drag and drop the measure to this card over here fine so we are looking at 25th of June to 1st July right if I change the range should get updated finally I, I would like to move this calculation group to the filter pane so it's up to you you can decide whether you want to apply it on a visual basis individual visuals or for a particular page or for the whole report let me assign it I can remove from here I will drag and drop on filter on all pages let me turn on the calculation group so it works one final improvement that I would like to do for this report is to provide an option for the user to select the number of days to weave the sales currently it's set at uh, 7 it's static so let's create a parameter for that on the modeling tab you can insert parameter let's name it day range day range minimum keep it 1 maximum let's say 90 the default is 7 let me quickly rearrange this so to get the value from this parameter and assign it to our calculation in the calculation group go back to the tabular editor and refresh the model now you can see the day range is over here instead of 7 so it should be day range value let me save it and go back to the file to see if this works yeah right now you are looking at 7 days let me bring it to 12 days yes you are looking at 12 days sales over here I actually forgot to rename the calculation group item so let me go and do that says past 7 days so now we have a parameter we'll give a generic name I'll switch to the tabular editor the tabular editor I have the name as past 7 days let me change it to sales days and save to the model you will see it's breaking so let me go down and select the correct calculation group over here the renamed one sales days it should fix it yes done i hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.